Hello again. And now, in this video, we're going to talk about average rate of change from a date from a table of data. Okay, what do we have? We have population of Riverdale City between 1990 and 2010. Now, what is our average rate of change? First of all, we have to remember the basic formula for the average rate of change is f of p minus f of a, or change in output, over b minus a, change in input. Or you can think about like del delta y over delta x. Okay, let's take some example. First example. We have to calculate average rate of change over each time interval. Now we have 1990-1992. Let's start with the basic formula. Our change in output. And our output from the table is just right here. 1992 is 60. This is 60 minus change in uh, input. Okay, output again, sorry. 1990 is 55. 55. Again, it's from the table over change in input and our input is 1992 minus 1990 and it's equals 2 5 over 2 and it's equals 2.5 2.5 what is this actually we have to always include units don't forget about this and our units just keep the same. What is our units of output? They are right here, population of hundreds of people. Just keep the same fraction and with hundreds of people I will shorten. Hundreds of people over input. What is our input? Units of input is just right here, year. Year. And now this our this is our average rate of change on the time interval between 1990-1992. But what does this mean actually? 2.5 hundreds of people in a year. It means that our population in Riverdale City was increasing, averagely, by 2.5 hundreds of people in a year. It means population increased in 1991 by 2.5 hundreds of people. And in next year, 1992, it's again increased by this amount. Let's take the next example. We have next time interval is 1995-1992. And like, pay attention that we have time interval is different. It was two years here, now it's three years here. Okay, again, average rate of change. Just basic formula. Change in output, 1995 is 68 minus change in input 1992 is 60 or change in input 1995 minus 1992 and we have 8 over 3 and it's equal actually approximately 2.7 again units don't forget about units it's very important to for interpretation and we have Again, changing output, what units for output? Hundreds of people. Hundreds of people. And change time uh, units for input is year. Just keep them the same. And again, this, that this is our answer. This is our average rate of change, which is 2.7 hundred of people in a year in time interval between 1992-1995. Now, to make this video shorter, I just will include answers here because we then we then will need them later. Now, we have a couple more questions, which are now compare. Oh, sorry. Okay, now you can see. Compare the decade of 1990s with the centuries so, so far. Okay, now we can see table. Okay. And actually, what they're asking for right now, we have to the time the interval is ten years or decade in nineteen in the last decade of nineties and of new and decade of new century. And 
what we have is again change in output or change in input okay in 1990 its last decade is from 1990 to 2000 and what is our Again, change in output, which is 83 minus 55 over ch change in input, which is 2000 minus 1990, and it's equals to uh, boom, 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 28 over 10, and we have 2.8. Again, units, units of output or units of input, and just hundreds of people over year. Can you see that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we have to compare it with the de last decade of new century, and it is just 2010 to 2000. Again, change in output or change in input. We have 1990 in 2010 minus 83 in 2000. And again, 2010 minus 2000. And we have 7 over 10 or 0.7. Again, don't forget about units. Hundreds of people a year okay this is our average rate of change for this decay now based on this information and previous one relations here we have to predict our population in 2013 in Riverdale city again you see like we have here time interval in 2010 for all decade <coughs> average rate of change 0 0.7 hundred of people or the last one is here from 2005 to 2010 we have 0 0.4 average rate of change 0 0.4 hundreds of people in a year now which one to use like I would use this time interval because it's kind of closer to 2010 it's for shorter interval and it's like we can see our population is the rate average rate of change is decreasing you see like 1 2.4 this this point 0.7 is for bigger time interval that's why it's not so accurate that's why I was gonna use this time interval which is 0.4 and now how we can predict our population in, two in 2010 was 90 hundreds of people. Now, each year it was increasing averagely by 0.4, how it was found here. Plus, we have three years, we have our increasing population of 0.4, and it's in a year by three years, multiply by three years. And what we have, we have 91. Because this one is actually 1.2, 91.2. Again, what is it? It's our hundreds of people. This is our population in 2013. And that's it.